So what I'd like to do is to manually go through the bubble sort algorithm. Um, the bubble sort algorithm is not uh, the best algorithm in the world, to be sure. Um, it's very inefficient, and, and uh, there's a lot of better sorting algorithms out there. Uh, however, it is pretty simple, so it's a good place to start to talk about sorting. The basic idea is that we're going to be comparing uh, neighboring elements, and uh, if they're out of order, we're going to swap them. And we're going to continue doing that, okay, uh, going through the array multiple times until the uh, largest values sort of bubble up to the top or the end of the array. Okay, so let's try this out. So first I'm going to compare five, uh, 5 and 3. Okay, they're in the right order, so uh, no need to swap them. 5 and 1. Okay, they are out of order, so we'll uh, swap them around here. Okay, won't be quite as neat as, uh, as it started. Uh, then we look at 5 and 6, they're in okay order. 6 and 2, they need to be swapped, so we'll, we'll make that change. And then uh, 6 and 4, and 6 and 4 need to be swapped. Okay, so that's our first pass through the array. And what we have at the end of the first pass is that the largest number in the array is in the uh, last position. So the next time we go through the array, we only have to go up to the second last position. Okay, so 3 and 1. 3 and 5 are okay. 5 and 2. Okay, uh, 5 and 4, getting kind of sloppy here. Okay, so we can see that larger value bubbling up. So now the second last position is the second largest number. We're pretty close at this point. Okay, so uh, 1 and 3 are good, 2 and 3 need to be uh, swapped. 3 and 4 is good, uh, that's as far as we need to go. Um, and then we uh, start again. Now, of course, we've already sorted it at this point, but the algorithm would continue uh, looking at 1, 2, and 3, and then 1 and 2, and then finally, uh, that's it. It should be sorted at that point. So that's the bubble sort. So back in my, uh, my array templates header file, uh, this is my bubble sort uh, template. So again, the two parameters, uh, the array itself, which is uh, it's going to pick up the type of, and uh, the size. Um, I'm recording how many swaps I actually have to make to get a sense of how efficient uh, uh, or how well the bubble sort is working for me. Um, I start off an outer loop, which is going to repeat a certain number of times. Okay, uh, and in this particular case, uh, I'm passing an array with 10 elements, so it's going to repeat nine times. It's always one less than the size. Um, inside that loop, uh, this is where I'm actually making the uh, uh, a second loop to make the comparisons, so between neighbors. Uh, so I start an index, in, index off at 1, okay, which is the second element of the array, if you will, while the index is uh, less than the size, so I'm going to go to the end of the array, uh, and each time go uh, up by 1. Um, if the index that I'm on, if the, the value at the index I'm on is less than the value of the index that came before it, then I'm actually going to swap them. Okay, so I put that into a temporary, uh, the, the one I'm on into a temporary. Uh, I make the one I'm on equal to the one that came before it. The one that came before it, I make it equal to the temporary, and I say, hey, I've made a move here. Okay, so this is just a little swapping part. Then it moves on to the next pair, the next pair, and so on. Once it's gone through the entire uh, array, um, at the end of this for loop, Basically, the uh, largest value should be at the last position of the array. Then it repeats again, okay, for the second last position, the third last position, and so on until it ends. So that sum of the moves, uh, I'm returning back as an integer, again, just so I can see how effective uh, this algorithm was for me. So to test my bubble sort, I'm using a C out statement, C out, bubble sort took and then whatever the return value of bubble sort is. So I'm passing it letters, size, it's going to actually sort that array and return the number of moves. Okay, so I'm reporting that on the screen, and then I'm going to display the array so we can see um, that it actually worked. Okay, so let me run this. So there's my original array unsorted, and bubble sort we can see has actually managed to sort the array. It took 21 moves to sort this array. Uh, which doesn't sound too great to me. Alrighty, 
The next thing we'll look at is uh, we'll test out the uh, selection sort. So let's talk about how the selection sort actually works. 